Hi guys, welcome to Code Decode. Today in this video, we are going to cover some very frequently asked Java coding interview questions from freshers and experienced both. So we are going to start with a very commonly asked question that you have to write a comparator in Java to compare the list of employees. So I'm going to give you the list of employees. Now you have to sort them or compare them not just based on one single attribute that is ID, which is a natural sorting. You have to sort this single list of employees with different comparators. You have to use name as a comparison, then age and then the custom object that is address inside the custom object that is employee. So how will you do that? So let's get started. And before getting into the theory, we'll do it with a practical example. But we've already covered comparator and comparable difference, compare to and compare method difference. Difference between custom sorting and natural sorting, everything is already covered in theoretical way. And there's a complete playlist for that. Link to that will be given in the description below. Remember the compare method, when you implement it, it should return negative. If your first parameter is less than second parameter, it will always return positive. If first parameter is greater than second parameter, return zero if both are equal. So the, the keeping this three points in mind, you can implement your compare method of comparator. So let's quickly get started with the demonstration. Odin School is an upskilling platform that helps people launch, transform and propel their careers in high growth domains. If you are graduate looking for a career change, growth or launch, you should check out this bootcamp. They have job oriented six months full stack bootcamp led by industry experts. They have associated with 250 plus companies to ensure their curriculum is industry oriented and they work with them to provide best placement assistance to all students. They have some key highlights. They have live weekly classes, cohort based learning, projects and simulations, personalized interaction with instructors, mentorship with professionals. They also provide 360 degrees placement support and help their students to land amazing jobs. They have eligibility. Anyone about 21 can apply. The fee structure is 60k plus GST. You can also avail a scholarship up to rupees 45k based on your performance in the scholarship test. For more details, adding the links in the description, do please check their website. How to apply to Odin School's full stack Java developer bootcamp? The first step is to apply. Take test, avail scholarship and enroll. Here are some success stories on Odin graduates. Like these are few students who have been placed. You can go through their success stories and check out where they have been placed. You can also go through the testimony videos to know about their experience with Odin School. For more details, please check the link in the description below. So we'll quickly create a Java project. I'll name it as coding demo. Here I'm going to create a custom object employee whose list is what we need. So what we need is int id, int age, string name. I'm going to keep all of them as private. And we are going to use getters and setters to access them. And another field, address, address. So these sorting on these two are easy because this is an inbuilt class which already has natural sorting into it. So if you can go into the string class, you can see it has not natural sorting. It has already implement comparable and it does have compare to method. You don't have to put any logic in comparing your employees with the name. It won't be a problem, but it will be a problem when you have address. So since as you have already seen, string has implemented comparable and given a natural sorting. Similarly, for the address class, we have to give natural sorting. So let's go and create another class address. It can have private string street name and private int pin code. I'll generate getters and setters. And now if I'm going to implement a comparator for address, I need some way to compare two addresses. So how will you compare addresses with just this much of code? You cannot compare addresses, right? So what you need to do is to implement a natural sorting. So suppose I'm going to sort my employees based on the pin code in the address of the employee. Suppose pin code is 33. 30, 335 and 67. So the ascending order should be 33, 67 and 335. So it's already in. You have to implement the natural sorting. You have to implement comparable. Our comparable is going to compare different addresses. So you're going to compare object of this class with the another object that you're going to pass to compare to method. It gives you error that you have to add unimplemented method. This impl unimplemented method is from comparable. Since we have to compare two addresses, the first address is going to be this dot get pin code, which is this class pin code, the object of this class and the pin code of this address. 
it will return you negative if this is lesser than o dot pin code example this dot pin code is 6 and o dot get pin code is 8 then this will return you minus 2 which is negative so if this is lesser than this it should give you negative it should give you positive if this is greater than this so suppose this is 8 and this is 6 then it will give you plus 2 and if both are same suppose both are 8 then it should return you 0 so this is how compared to method you should have implemented so you should always remember the logic your compare to method should always return you a negative a positive or zero based on the logic you have implemented here so this is how you implement the natural sorting now as far as employee class is concerned we will create the getters and setters now see how to do custom sort based on these three fields now let's create a main class a main method and let's create employee objects i don't want to do even dot set name set age set address i don't want to do that how will you prevent these setters by creating a constructor so in employee i'll create a constructor so this is my constructor similarly for address i have to use i don't want to use getters and setters then i'll create a constructor here also in both the cases my constructor is ready now in the main class i can use employee equals to new employee the first is id so id i'll put as one age so i'll put age is 29 name as suppose i'll put it as term and address so it should be a new address because it's a custom object it's not simple string in new address it should be the string as a street name so i can put it as and pin code i'll keep it as four five six now i'll create four objects because i will give you a list which you have to sort id2 id3 and id4 i'll change the names i'll put jerry code and decode i'll change the street addresses to and pin codes also so this is the employee object we have created i'll create a list of employees now and in that list i'll add all even e2 e3 and e4 print the list when i try to print my list and run it you will see a problem here it's not readable at all these are four objects of employee class but you don't understand what it is all about right that's because you have not implemented two string method in employee i'll generate two string with all the fields and now when i run my code again i can see these are readable now but again my address is not readable because you forgot to implement two string now let's run again see i have such a beautiful object list printed here so this is non-sorted list id is 1 id is 2 id is 3 id is 4 so this is insertion order so this is unsorted list now i say sort it on the basis of age so how will you sort on the basis of age name and address all the three so for the custom sorting what you need to do is to implement comparator so let's quickly go and create a comparator so i'll say age comparator it should implement comparator and i'm going to sort employee objects it gives you an issue to add unimplemented method the unimplemented method is nothing but a compare method which takes two objects o1 and o2 and returns zero minus or negative or positive number based on your logic which you write here so logic should be based on age comparison so o1 dot get age minus o2 dot get age now it will return you negative if the age of your first employee is less than second employee it will return you positive if the age of first employee is greater than second employee and zero if both are of same age so that's how you should always implement your compare method so as per the description also implementer must be very careful that means you must be careful you should return negative zero or positive if the first argument is less than the second argument then negative if it is equal to then zero if it is greater than second then positive so you have to implement this logic very carefully now you have age comparator ready let's quickly go and create name comparator In the name comparator you have to compare names that's not how you compare strings right you it won't be allowed you won't be allowed to do that string has implemented its compare to method already you have to just use this compare to method and you will be good to go so this is how you implement use the existing natural sorting used by string that is if you go into this method this is a string class they have already implemented this compare to method and they have already implemented a comparable interface so the things are already done for you you just have to use it so your name comparator is also ready now you need 
address comparative. Now, the best part of address comparative right now is that you have already implemented compare to method, which is a natural sorting, which is going to sort your list of addresses based on the pin codes. So, what here also you have to do is to get the address, compare it with the second object's address and compare to method is already implemented. And we have overridden it to implement the pin codes here. So, you have all the three comparators ready with you. Now, you can go into a main class. You can use your comparator. Now, since you have all the three comparators ready with you, now you have to quickly sort your employee list based on three type of sorting. How will you sort your employee list with age? Oh, we have the same age here. Let, let me quickly change the ages. The age is 29, 30, 21 and 50. When you sort it, you should have 3, 29. So, the ID should be 1, 30. So, ID should be 2, 50. So, ID should be 4. So, this should be your order. When you sort your employee list with the ages. How do you sort it? Use a collections method. This is sort. So, collections class has a sort. Now, sort has an overloaded method. One is going to sort your list, but it is going to be based on natural sorting. You haven't implemented comparable. So, you cannot sort your employee cl class with the natural sorting. You have to use comparator here. We have implemented four, co three comparators here. That is age comparator, name comparator, and address comparator. So, it's always preferable to use this to compare else you have to use the natural sorting like we have done in address class since you haven't done that don't take that risk now pass your employee list and new age comparator so that's how you pass a new object of age comparison it is going to sort your employee list based on your ages so i'm going to print sorted on based of ages plus your employee list now let's quickly run it so if you can see we have sorted your ID should be 3, 1, so 21, 29, 30 and 50. This is in ascending order. So great, our sorting on the basis of age comparator works where we have not done anything. We have just implemented a comparator. Overridden the compare method and added a logic to return minus negative value, positive value or zero based on the logic that you have written here. I am going to add this star star so that we can have some clarity on it. Now next we want to compare our employee list based on their name. So Tom, Jerry, Code and Decode. So with the name comparator you have to just pass the object of name comparator just like this. We have already created the name comparator here. We are going to just use it. So now the name comparator should compare and your code should be first then Decode then Jerry and then last may Tom with the ID 1. So let's try and quickly run it. Great. Now we have the sorting based on name that is code. Second is decode. Third is Jerry. And fourth is Tom. Now the last thing is to compare your employee class with the address comparator. This was very straightforward. This was int. So comparison was easy by just subtracting the two ages. Name was also easy because compare to was already implemented in string class. Address comparison was tough because we have to implement natural sorting by ourselves. So in address, we have implemented comparable and overridden the compare to method to compare the addresses based on their pin codes. 12 is the first. So 3 comma 12 is the first value, then 344, then 456 and then 567. So let's quickly run it and see if we are able to get the proper result. So we are at, based on the address pin code. The first pin code is 12. Second pin code is 344. Fourth is 456 and fifth is 567. So all the four comparators are working perfectly fine for us. These are sorted based on age, name and address comparison. So if in an interview any scenario comes where you have to sort based on multiple scenarios, then you have to always use comparator and not comparable. Now I have many more such questions like how to find pairs of elements whose sum is equal to the given array. Then how to find the middle node in the linked list. Then write a program to prevent that lock and many more such scenario based questions. If you want me to cover all those, you have to let me know in the comment section. Then we are going to carry forward this coding interview, Java coding interview question series for, for you. Thank you.